Now, many of you know that I'm a big supporter of video game preservation. In other words, the act of taking steps to ensure that video games are easily accessible and available to all for future generations to come. And I'm not particularly fussed about how those games are playable, whether it's emulation or original hardware or via some other means, but just the ability to preserve games and have them accessible and available to anyone is something that's very important to me. Now, if you're not sure who the Hidden Palace is, they are a collective people that started back in the mid-2000s dedicated to video game preservation, and they do some really awesome stuff for the community, including prototypes, source code, lost artwork, design documents, all sorts of stuff. Hidden Palace has a lot of really cool things. And if you're not familiar with who the Hidden Palace is, I'll leave a link to their website in the description below for you guys to check out. Now, Hidden Palace has been working on something known as Project Deluge. Now, the original dump of games was for the Sony PlayStation 2, the Sony PlayStation, Sega Saturn and Philips CDI and there was about 800 games unique to all those systems that were released and it was pretty massive and it really made a lot of people take some attention with what the Hidden Palace was doing. I took a look at some of the stuff and I thought it was quite interesting but I was kind of waiting for the day where we would see original Xbox and the good news is that day is today because the Hidden Palace recently just updated their website and made a massive Twitter announcement on Saturday talking about a new dump of games for the original Microsoft Xbox and the Sega Dreamcast. And the website goes on to say, hello everyone, it's that time again, continuing with our efforts with Project Deluge. Today we present over 349 Microsoft Xbox prototypes and 135 Sega Dreamcast prototypes. From unreleased games to early builds, this lot continues to be fruitful. Now this blog post is available on the Hidden Palace website and it talks about the newly acquired releases for the Dreamcast and the OG Xbox. Now these are some of the Dreamcast dumps that have been released. You can see this is a early version of Jet Set Radio with some debug. There's a version of Ill Bleed here. There's Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, Off-Road, Deep Fighter and Shanghai Dynasty. And all these are prototype or unreleased versions of the original games. Now, the article talks about the Sega Dreamcast prototypes. And as you can see, it discusses Ready to Rumble Boxing Round 2, San Francisco Rush 2049, Shadow Man, Test Drive Cycles, Vigilante 8 Second Offense, WWF Attitude, and even Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. These are all prototypes that have been released. But if we scroll down even further, we get to the good stuff. This is the money stuff, at least for me. I know there's probably a lot of people that are really into the Dreamcast stuff, so please do yourself a favor and check out the Dreamcast stuff. But we want to talk about the OG Xbox stuff because that is something that is very interesting to me. As you can see here, there is some really, really interesting screenshots. The first one is Dinosaur Hunting, The Lost Continent. And we're going to get back onto that one here shortly. Psychonauts, we've got Micro Mayhem, Jet Set Radio Future, Pac-Man World Rally. This, I believe, is an unreleased game. And there's a whole bunch of new stuff here, but the article talks about the Xbox prototypes from unreleased games, early prototypes, tech demos, localization prototypes, debugging builds, and somewhat near final builds with debugging features enabled. Now the blog post goes on to say, in this part of the lot, we have an unreleased Xbox port of American Idol, Hail to the Chimp, which would be released for the Xbox 360, he-Man, Defender of Grayskull. Now, this particular game was never released as far as I know. And this is very interesting to me. And Pac-Man World Rally. This is another unreleased game. We have an unreleased English localization of Dinosaur Hunting, which was originally going to be published by Metro 3D sometime in 2003, but was cancelled shortly after for unknown reasons. Now, this is the... English translation or the localization of Dinosaur Hunting, a game that was only believed to be available in Japan and it just kind of vanished off the face of the earth. And it also goes on to say we have quite a few interesting prototypes of some Sega developed titles too. We have a really nice prototype of Crazy Taxi 3 High Roller, Toe Jam and Earl 3, Jet Set Radio Future, Sega GT and Gun Valkyrie. Some other notable prototypes is a really nice prototype of Psychonauts, which is the currently earliest prototype available, Rogue Ops, Room Zoom, Race for Impact, and much more. 
Now, this is a massive, massive release by the Hidden Palace, and I got to give them a lot of credit and a lot of congratulations for this because this is the kind of stuff that really makes me happy to see the community just releasing this stuff. We're not talking about people that are hoarding onto prototypes and never releasing them and holding onto them, you know, for whatever reason. This is something that a lot of anonymous people and a lot of people behind the scenes have gotten together, rallied together to make this possible. So if we take a look at the list of games, there is a lot. As mentioned, there is 349. And the good news is all of these are available for you to download and try out for yourself. As you can see, there is a lot of stuff here. And I've only really started to scratch the surface of what we have. But the first one I took a look at was Area 51, which is the July 23 prototype. And this was a part of a demo disc on a demo version. So when you actually load the game, you've got that demo XBE launcher. But as you can see here, there is a lot of notes that have been set with this game. It's a demo version, as mentioned, it's missing all the full motion videos. It has a completely different title screen, different heads up display, different gameplay mechanics, different level design and layouts. And as you can see, these are the screenshots um, of the game. Now, I decided to turn on my Xbox dev kit and play the game myself and take a look at it. And yeah, I mean, it's, it's all here, it's available. You can download any of these prototypes and play them yourself. And I'll talk about how you can use an emulator as well. You don't have to use an original Xbox to do this. Xbox emulation has gotten a lot better in recent times, and I'm not saying that all of these games will work on emulation, but the great news is you can see here that they make a note if the game is emulatable, and you can use XMU as of September 12, 2021, and I've confirmed that this game actually works 100% fine under emulation. Now, if we continue to go through this list, there is so much stuff here. And I think there's someone, something here for everyone to take a look at, but I didn't spend too much time going through everything because there's literally, literally hundreds of hours of stuff that you could potentially go through here. Another game I checked out was Crazy Taxi 3 High Roller. And this one here is quite interesting because it's a preview build dated two months before final. There's no auto demo. The game crashes a lot, but it's playable. And if you look at the screenshots, it looks like it's the final version of the game. But once again, I decided to turn on my dev kit and play it. And it's clear that this game is not final. There's a lot of missing textures. There's different text elements uh, in, in different places. It crashes a lot. There's graphical errors. And another mention here is the emulation. You can see here it's saying it's not emulatable. So great work by the Hidden Palace to really walk you through you know if you can play these games via emulation or not but the cool part is all of these as mentioned have download links so you can download these and play them yourself if you have original hardware or if you want to try out an emulator and another prototype that i checked out was crimson skies now this one is really interesting because this is a pre-release version of the game and as you can see here with the screenshots it's been labeled as such but again this was something that was different than the final build now this one didn't work with emulation i tried emulation i tried cxbx and xmu i couldn't get this to work but i did try it on my dev kit and it loads up just fine now the only real difference i could tell was the intro screen here but otherwise everything seemed to be the same so i think this was something that was pretty close to retail and if you look at the notes here, it says predates the final US build by over three months. So maybe this was probably the, the game that they were about to get ready for certification going forward. But as you can see here, just a massive, massive list of games here. There is a lot of stuff here. And this is the one that's the most interesting to me is the dinosaur hunting beta. This was completely unreleased in English. There was no version of it in English, but as you can see here, the localization prototype of an unreleased English version. It was originally announced to have Metro 3D as its publisher on November the 7th. The game had multiple final release dates. The game originally had a 2004 release, followed by a March 24th, 2004 release, and finally an August 2nd, 2004 release before it was silently canceled. And the game, again, was canceled for unknown reasons. Now, 
these screenshots were just absolutely mind-blowing to me and when i tried out the game it loads just fine on my dev kit and i played it for about an hour and i've had a lot of fun i mean for me the game feels like it's it's done like i couldn't really notice anything that was kind of unfinished for me the the, the localization code looked pretty good and for me I'm, I'm very confused as to why the game never came out but you can play the game with emulation cxbx and xmu as well so check that out i think for me that's probably the most interesting on this list but there is a lot more a lot lot more and look there is just so much here as you can see we're just going through this list of games and the other one i guess that i want to talk about that was probably the most interesting was he-man defender of grayskull this was an unreleased game and this game was developed by savage entertainment was released in europe only for the playstation 2 two years after this build the game was originally going to be published by tdk media active and was in development for late 2005 or 2006 release the game was in development so long that it was even featured on the xbox 360 back compat list despite never being released the game was cancelled for unknown reasons possibly due to impending release of the xbox 360. i mean looking at these dates here it's very obvious that microsoft was really pushing the xbox 360 so it kind of made sense that this game never made it onto the xbox but this is a game that i've i've literally never seen before i've i've heard about it but i've never seen the xbox screenshots and this is pretty interesting to see now another game that i took a look at was pac-man world rally and this again is an unreleased game and this is a kart racer in kind of the pac-man universe and this is a lot of fun to play as you can see here the prototype of the unreleased xbox port that was cancelled for unknown reasons again this was a game that probably came out late in the xbox's life cycle so namco probably just decided that it wasn't really worth releasing the build date as you can see here is february 18 2006 well and truly into the xbox 360's life cycle so they probably decided it wasn't really worth releasing as a return on investment would be quite low but that's of course just speculation but as you can see here this is the demo of this port was included in the xbox port of pac-man world 3. now i tried this out with both the xbox development kit that i have and emulation and it runs really well it's a lot of fun to play this is a really cool kart racer now there's only two levels in this particular build this demo the arctic iceberg and the haunted mansion but you can see it's taking a lot of inspiration from super mario kart or the mario kart series i should say and it's a ton of fun now one other cool thing that the hidden palace is doing is uploading screenshots of the discs themselves so when the discs were submitted to the hidden palace for this project they took screenshots of every single disc physical media that was available so if we click on another one here for example a toji 2 you can see here that this is the disc that was sent to them now in, in some cases it's just a burnt disc that has review written on it but all of them come with the actual media the photographs of the media that the discs were submitted with now this is really only scratching the surface of what we have here if we continue going through this list there's so much stuff another one that really is interesting to take a look at is the red star which was an unreleased game now there have been builds of the red star that have been released in the past before but this is another one a prototype build that has been uploaded by the hidden palace so this is really cool to see as well and continuing on we've also got the simpsons road rage a prototype of the simpsons road rage which has a alpha build dated two months before the earliest final build with opening cutscenes that are different some menus don't work now i think for me the most interesting game on this list is known as the vats i've never even heard of this game before but this was a according to the notes at least a vertical slice that was used to pitch with publishers to really try to sell the game to publishers and and potentially get it signed and released as a fully commercial game but the notes here says that the game was scheduled to be shown at e3 the game boasts a custom engine called goliath that was capable of handling advanced physics animations morphing and blending 
The game was silently cancelled for unknown reasons and media is very scarce. The game itself serves as a pitch of sorts with points in the game used to, as a way to showcase and explains the game concepts and goals. Now one other thing that I want to mention is emulation. Xbox emulation has come a long way since we last talked about it maybe 18 months ago. It's still not perfect, but it's getting better. And the best emulator that you can use these days is known as XMU. And it does handle and support a lot of these unreleased games. So you can take a look at them yourself and do so pretty easily without original hardware. As long as you've got a fairly fast PC, you can get access to these games and they do look and play pretty well. Now, XMU is something that I'm probably going to be covering in a future episode because I'm pretty impressed with how Xbox OG Xbox emulation has advanced over the last few years and I think it's time that we revisited it because I think the compatibility percentage is a lot better than what a lot of people are thinking because when you think about Xbox OG emulation you tend to think oh that's you know that's only like 50% compatible but in recent times there's been some pretty big advancements in OG Xbox emulation and I definitely want to walk you through and show you what is possible on original Xbox emulation in 2021 and beyond because it surprised me and I think it will definitely surprise you guys. But wow, what can I say? Project Deluge is massive and the Hidden Palace also is mentioning in their blog post here that this is only scratching the surface. There is a lot more to come. They're currently in the process of sifting through, archiving and preparing a another big list of and release of games in the future and i can't wait whether it's og xbox stuff hopefully we'll see more og xbox stuff maybe some 360 stuff because there's a lot of really interesting things in those areas that i'd love to take a look at but what do you guys think about this i am really really fascinated i am very happy to see this and i'm all about it so again big thank you to the hidden palace for Project Deluge. I'll definitely be keeping an eye on this one going forward and I can't wait to play more of these prototypes. There's so much stuff here to take a look at and I'm going to spend probably the next couple of weeks going through a lot of this stuff and seeing what I can find. Not only from a playable perspective or play, a gameplay perspective but also from a reverse engineering perspective whether there's interesting things to find in some of these games and I think there's a lot of stuff here that we can really sink our teeth into. But guys, I'm going to leave it here for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, don't forget to put a like on it. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye for now.